My name is Mary Helena Clark and I'm an artist working in film and video. I, I, w I didn't go to art school, I went to film school and I found that it's sort of hard to shift into any other medium after you've experienced like the breadth of what filmmaking gives you as an artist, right? We've got time, color, motion, sound, you know, because of the intensity of the form, it feels like like you're, you have to like, you carry it with you, like you incubate the work for, for longer. And I think that that's like such a remarkable and kind of intoxicating side of making it. Most of my films bring together really disparate but kind of rhyming sound and images um, that kind of suggest a more fragmented experience in order to think about disassociation or embodiment. In my last film, The Glass Note, that I, that I completed here at Pioneer Works, focused primarily on, on sound. Sound creates a visceral and really specific like bodily experience, or it proposes one. And I think the way that I try to use sound to either undercut the image or to imbue it with a new sort of meaning, or to play around with like the eye being here and the ear being elsewhere. There can be this gulf between sound and source, and then there's uh, the capacity for the human mind to latch a sound on an image and attribute that sound to that image, and the capacity for a sound to open up an image and, and its like connotative possibilities. So I, I like the idea of um, like moving between these modes of uh, realism and then and rupturing that sense of realism. There's this one sequence that's a series of statues that have been, have parts of them that have been rubbed for good luck. And it's paired with contact recordings of my skin and mouth. Writing has a more explicit role because it's on screen text and it's as collaged as the image and the sound. I, I realize I've used text on screen before as a way of like activating like an inner voice of the audience member and I think and this what's new about this film is that I use it to describe sounds that sometimes you hear and sometimes you don't so I, it's a way of creating up a system or a logic that then can become a little slippery or be broken knowing that you're being guided but not quite trusting where you're going